sweating mess. Completely yeah. frazzled. <laughs> yeah. What has happened uh, overall holiday times? Just, you know, it was, we started here pretty much back in mid-October. Mm -hmm. With the holidays, with Thanksgiving, with Christmas, a lot more people around. Usually would that be a lot higher level of anxiety for him or stress? A lot more. Okay. And, and that's, you know, even in our own house. So this past holiday we went over to some friend's house and okay. Billy came along and, you know, and I always know that, you know, there's a chance that Billy and I will leave, you know, right. and... Yeah. Still, because everything's never perfect every single day. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Uh, but we were, I think it was Christmas. Yeah, it was Christmas. We were over at their house for about seven hours. And, you know, Billy had his DVD player and his right. things to escape, but for the most part, he was there. He wasn't complaining. And he wasn't saying, this was one thing he used to say over and over again. He'd go, I want to go in the van, I want to go in the van. You know, and that was his You're way of saying, we're going home. home. Right. Yeah. Okay. And he wasn't asking for that. He was he was just doing really well. Now you said that uh, some of the things, some of the new things that he was doing at school, uh, as far as like the things he can do now versus things where he was at about four or five months ago. Um, mm -hmm. You said now that he's doing math, that he's counting money, yes. and you said because of his changes with behavior, he's able to engage in a lot more activities. What are some of the things they are doing with him now? Yes. Well, you know, just last week they sent home, because they send home a log every day with, with things that he's doing. And they said that he was playing um, baseball with the other kids. And, and that he was the person who ran and got the ball and put it back on the tee every single time. So for all the other kids. Right. And, um, and he's, you know, he used to just really avoid that level of interaction mm -hmm. with anybody. Um, and he's also doing a lot more um, playing board games, okay. taking turns, just a lot more interaction. You say even with uh, your daughter, whenever she has friends over now, when people are playing, what would he know? If Lauren had had friends over, you know, a year ago, what would Billy's interaction have been with them, if any? There really wouldn't have been any. So just kind of in his room or in his part of the house, just... Yeah, just doing doing his own thing. Okay. So, and now um, Lauren will have a friend over, and and I think Lauren's getting kind of sick of it. But, <laughs> but Billy will come up and say, you know, I want to chase you. And, you know, and if she's willing, you know, right. not even, I've slipped her some money. Yeah. But, <laughs> but if she's willing and her friend is, right. they get this big chase game going, you know, slamming doors, running, you know, running up and down the hall. And, and so it's, it's, amazing that Billy's the one, you know, wanting that. Initiating it. Yeah. And you said that now when he leaves the house, and I just hadn't even realized this, that the first time he came in, I mean, we had a huge stack of, you know, DVDs, and we had the camcorder, and we had all these different escape items to kind of help him stay better focused. So you guys would yes. normally have to leave the house with a stack of his things. Oh, yeah. And now, I even notice he comes in the office, there's nothing in his hands at all. Yeah. When did yeah. you notice that? You know what, that was, that was shortly after we started coming okay. here. And, and he would, um, I think it was like a kind of a security blanket for him. Mm -hmm. He always wanted something, you know, in his hands. And, and sometimes it was just a stack of loose DVDs and they'd be, you know, we'd walk outside and be flying all over the place. Right. And, and now I say, Billy, it's time to go. And he'll come over to the door, he'll put his shoes on and off we go. So. Mm -hmm. Totally different. And, and, and shoes, really nice. he's wearing different shoes now. Because when he first came in, he wouldn't, wasn't that he wouldn't, he would only wear, I couldn't touch his feet. <laughs> I couldn't do anything because you're like, you'll never get your hands oh, anywhere near his feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's still, he still has big issues with his feet. Okay. Sensory, you know, he right. doesn't like socks, doesn't like shoes. Right, but I can um, touch him now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you at least touch him. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, the adjustment itself, like, since the nuke adjustment is so different, there is none of the well, I would say there's a light amount of pressure is really all that it takes. Um, for a parent who's at home wondering, well, could my kid even tolerate that a chiropractic adjustment, how does Billy tend to do with what we do here? Do you see any real problems with it for him? Um, you know, initially, and, and you'll remember, yeah. you know, it was, it was tough to get him to, you know, to lay still, lay in the position that right. we needed. Um, but I think because um, it's 
you know, he got used to you, he got used to the office. Right. And it wasn't like some scary abrupt thing Big ever change. for right. him. Just slight amount of pressure. So your yeah. pulse is being taken. So my hand is resting up on his neck. Yeah. And really no no issues, I don't think. No, right. no. And you know, we kinda turned it into a game. Like right. counting, you know, right. you're gonna count to twenty and that's how long it would take you, you know, to to get the adjustment. Um, but I think, and, and I, well, here's what I like to think. I like to think that he realizes now that mm -hmm. he feels better. Right. And so, you know, I, I, I would think that that's part of it, why he doesn't mind, you know, coming in. Coming in. And, and now, close. how often do we see him? It's about, what, once every four weeks, six so, weeks, kind of the same schedule as you? About, yeah, I think about six weeks now. Okay. And the thing that I, at least seems to me from what you've told me is that we're still seeing growth and improvement with him in these different areas, even though he's not seeing us. He's not going. He's not having to get adjusted to go and get fixed so that he can get back to where it used to be. We're still seeing these huge milestones happen. Yes. Yeah, and I think in the last five months, I think there's only been one time that I've called you and said, something's, something's right. way off with him. Can right. I bring him in? Right. Um, otherwise, it's just more like a routine... Thing, you know, every yeah. six weeks, right. and um, yeah, and and there again, that's where it makes sense to me with the nervous system. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's just functioning better, and and he's not, um, he doesn't have the level of anxiety that he had, and so he's just able to really, you know, um, focus on stuff and tolerate things, and and I think he's just he's comprehending things a lot more. Yeah. So. Would you tell a for a parent that may be sitting at home wondering if they should even look further into NUCA, you know, where were your expectations at before this started? I know you had high hopes, but realistically, what did you tell yourself we may get to and kind of where are we at now? Um, Tough question on the know, spot, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I really had any expectations when mm -hmm. I came in. Mm -hmm. um, other than, you know, I knew that, I knew that you were open to, like you said, you know, if we need to spend, you know, hours getting the x-rays, that's what we'll do. Right. And I thought, okay, anybody who's that on board, you know, with the possibility that it'll help, I'll do it. Because a lot of us, you know, who have um, been to, you know, different doctors, mm -hmm. and um, you'll, you find yourself some time where you know it's entirely up to you. You know, and the professional, you know, is just kind of sitting back going, well, if you can figure this out, you know, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to try to be, you know, part of um, getting your child to cooperate. Right. And so, so when you said, you know, I'm game, you know, right. let's try right. it, let's I thought. Let's do it on a Wednesday and okay. three hours. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So that made all the difference. So would yeah. you tell any parent out there who may be watching this just to go and look into Nuka Care as a possible option? Any hesitation? No, no. <laughs> no hesitation. I mean, there's no, there's no downside. Mm -hmm. And with Billy, I've seen a lot of, a lot of positive stuff.